Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Policy of Truth by Depeche Mode. And it starts off with this cool little intro lick where you can play third on the A string, open D, third on the A, first fret on the D, and then bat it third fret on the A twice, and then fourth fret on the B, third fret on the A, and then third fret on the D twice, and then first fret on the D. So you're going C, D, C, E flat, C. C, E flat, C, F, F, E flat. And then you'll kind of hear the, this cool little lick come in later on where you could play 5th fret on the G string, 4th fret on the B, 4th fret on the high E string twice, and then 3rd fret on the high E string twice. And you may want to do a little slap. <laughs> and then you go 5th fret on the G, 4th fret on the B, 4th fret on the high E twice. And then third fret on the high E, and then play that again, and then we go to fifth fret on the G. So we got five, four, 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 three, three, four, or five, four, 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 three, three, five, five, four, 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 three, three, five, four, 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 three, three, five. It's kind of those licks at the beginning, and the chord that would kind of back up those licks would start on a C minor chord. Normally you did this as a bar, and you'd have first finger across the entire third fret, second finger on the B string fourth fret, third finger on the D string fifth fret, and the pinky on the G string fifth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now you could also think about kind of lifting off the pinky and making that a C minor seven chord. Or if you want to make that a smaller version and kind of avoid the bars, you could do first finger on the high E on the third fret, second finger on the B string fourth fret, and third finger on the G string fifth fret, and kind of make that kind of just the G, B, and E as kind of a small C minor chord. Or you could use a C5 power chord. And then we play C5, first finger goes to A on the third fret, third finger on the D string on the fifth fret, and you can kind of work that for your C minor. And then from the C we're going to go to an A flat major. Normally you do this as kind of a fourth fret bar. Second finger on the G string on the fifth, third finger on the A string sixth, and the pinky on the D string sixth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A flat major chord. It sounds really, really bad. Now you could also kind of make this, this a smaller version of that chord by doing first finger over just the E and the B string, second finger on the G string on the th on the fifth fret, kind of making a small A flat major, kind of taking the the top of, of kind of that other bar and kind of adding it in can be kind of a cool way to kind of work that too. Or you could use an A flat major or A flat five, or you do first finger on the low E string on the fourth fret, third finger on the A string sixth fret, and kind of work that for your A flat. So you can kind of work it as kind of a C5, A flat, C, C, A flat, C. Or you mean when you kind of think about doing downs on this, kind of a C minor with A, and then an A flat for four, C minor for four. C minor, da da, A flat, C minor, da da, A flat, A lot of times with a song like this, I like to add something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And so we took the C minor and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, down, 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 down. So another way to kind of work that intro in, in our verse part is to do the down, down, up, up, down on the C minor and then a down, down, up on the A flat and C minor. So we get to our chorus part, and on our chorus we start on the A flat major twice, and then we go to an F minor, and when you play F minor normally you do this as a first fret bar, third finger on the A string on the third fret, pinky on the D string uh, third fret, you strum all those together, that sounds an F minor bar, it sounds really sad. Now you could kind of make this a smaller version of that chord by just kind of barring the top three strings of the top four strings actually on the first fret, to kind of build into the bigger bars, or you could use an F5 power chord. Where you do first finger on the low E string on the first fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and strum just the E and the A string. So you kind of work that for your F2, kind of A flat, A fret, F, F. And then we 
go to a B flat major chord. And the way you play B flat, normally you do this as a first fret bar, and you can kind of do second finger on the D third, third finger on the G third, pinky on the B string third for B flat major. Or you can kind of take your third finger and kind of flatten it over the D G and go for a B flat. Or you could use a smaller version of that chord by doing first finger on the first fret on the high E, third finger on the G string, third fret, pinky on the B string, third fret, kind of use that for your B flat major. Or you could use a B flat five first finger on the A string on the first fret, third finger on the D string on, on the third fret, kind of work that for your B flat. And then from the B flat, we go to a B diminished. And this could be kind of cool if you want to use like a bigger chord for this. You could do first finger on the G string on the first fret, second finger on the A string, second fret, third finger on the D string on the third fret, pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string with the B string, that sounds a B diminished chord. So you want to think about that for you. B diminished kind of idea. Or you could use a, a power chord for that and make it a B5 power chord by doing first finger on the A string second, third finger on the D string fourth fret. It's kind of a B5 idea. Or you might even want to make this a B with a flat five. <laughs> by taking the third finger just sliding it down one fret to the third fret. So now I got a second and third fret. That could be kind of cool to work with the B flat five to the B with a flat five to lead back to the C five. So you can kind of work that with your power chords, kind of that A flat, A flat, F minor, B flat, B. So we back to our main idea, kind of C, da, 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 B flat, C. It's kind of a, a, a chorus type. Or you could use the bigger chords with the strum pattern and have the A flat. A lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the C minor, you'd have the A for the bass. On the A flat, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the F minor, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the D flat, you'd have the A for the bass. And on the B diminished, you'd have the A string for the bass. So we tried that through that next verse. We'd have the C minor, A flat with the bass, down to C minor for the A bass, A minor, C minor, A flat. through our next chorus, we can have the A flat. start on an E flat major chord. You could do this by taking that B flat shape we were doing and sliding this all the way up to 6th and 8th fret. So I got a 6th fret bar, 3rd finger over the D, G, and B on the 8th fret for an E flat major. Or another way to play E flat major would be doing a 3rd fret bar and kind of using a C shape. 2nd finger on the B string, 4th fret, 3rd finger on the D, 5th, and the pinky on the G, or on the A string, 6th. Kind of using that for your A flat. Or a really small E flat major. We'll be doing first finger on the G third, second finger on the high E third, third finger on the B string on the uh, fourth fret. And if you kind of strum just the G, B, and E, that's a little teeny E flat major. Or you can use an E flat five where you do first finger on the A string six, third finger on the D string on the A, kind of work that as an E flat five. And then from the E flat, we're going to kind of an F major idea. And you could use the kind of a bar F major where you do first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger on the G second, third finger on the A string third, pinky on the D string third. Kind of work that for your F major. Or you could make it an F5 power chord by doing the first finger on the low E string on the first fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. Kind of work it that way. Or you could take those E flat shapes that we were just doing, E flat bar, and then slide it over two frets. And then you could go to eighth fret bar, 
third finger of the D, G, and B on the 10 for an F. Or you could do an F5 by doing first finger on the A string, 8th fret, third finger on the D string, 10th fret, kind of working F5 that way. And that might make it a little bit easier to kind of slide from that E flat to the F and then slide it back to the C that we're staying on, on the same strings. Or you could kind of work that, that idea, kind of working the low end if you're digging on that D flat, F, C minor. So through that bridge part, we got kind of our E flat, F, C minor, and on the C minor you hear this cool little lick where you can play like third fret on the A string, on the third fret, and then go back to first fret, and then back to third fret. So three, 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 one, three, I'm kind of on the C minor. to C minor, C minor, B flat C, kind of working that, C minor down, up, 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 C minor down, down, B flat on the up, up, C minor on the down, up, kind of working it that way. So you got the E flat, C minor, C minor, B flat, C minor, E flat, and at the end of that bridge we kind of go back to almost like our first idea. Bases though, you could add bases to that. On the E flat bar on the sixth, you have the A for the bass. And same thing for, for the F, actually, if you're doing that eighth fret bar. Or if you're doing the low F, you kind of low E string for the bass. So you have the E flat. of kind of that C B flat note that we were just doing kind of come in on the G string. So kind of this kind of doing fifth fret to third fret now for that C C C C C B flat C. And the chords that would kind of back that up you heard the bass kind of alternate between the C and the A flat. So it's almost kind of like a, a bridge tag actually I guess after that first bridge where you got the C minor A flat of how you can work the policy of truth on the guitar. So, good luck!